what's up everyone today i will show you how to do some cool water splash photography right in your home without any fancy studio setup and with whatever thing you have in your home near your hand so without wasting any time let's get into it well the lockdown has been set in in everywhere and the only solution that you have to beat down this lockdown ultimately and in a proper way is to be creative you know what i mainly do is landscape photography but quite inevitably it is impossible to get out and it is impossible to do right uh, landscape photography without getting out from your home so i turn to still life photography instead things which i can easily manage in my home and uh, i tried some uh, still life photography with some antique stuffs which i have in my home but my mind was craving for that cool uh, professional looking water splash photography well the photos of the beautiful water splash photography with pin sharp things and beautiful mesmerizing lighting conditions and the bubbles spilling out uh, you need a very professional setup for that like you need at least two or more strobes soft boxes speed lights flash guns and most of all a uh, previously arranged uh, backdrop uh, with some predetermined colors or solid colors or whatever you have but having those things in home at least to a person who does not do indoor photography in a i mean imposed lighting condition is but a dream i had neither of them i had no soft boxes flash guns uh, or the tripods for hanging those the strobes or whatever i have a speed light but again that is of no use because uh, for doing this kind of photography i have to detach it detach it and place somewhere else and uh, throw the light from the outside and for that i need a flash trigger which again i do not have i rather took it as a challenge i was not cowed down i thought and thought and thought and basically i thought for two days and uh, then i had to basically find out the right spot with a proper backdrop after finding out the spot what i needed was a dark or a black background and after so many uh, thoughts i just hung my car cover which is not black but it is dark blue or navy blue which will uh, which i th i thought it could act as a dark background or i could manage in the post processing i placed it beside the window because i wanted to have some ambient light but i saw that only the ambient light will uh, would not uh, cast the dramatic or it, it would not lift the dramatic mood of it so uh, I needed more light and I did this. I brought a big stool and placed it right beside the table. As I did not have a strobe and a tripod outside, I had to uh, alternatively do with my table lamp which is presently uh, lighting my face. And I placed the table lamp on the stool. and. Uh, Again, I had to walk with an extension cord because the cord of the table lamp could not cover up the distance. And uh, with all these things having done, my lighting and my background was well nigh set. And then we came to the shooting part. And for shooting, uh, what I used basically are these things. Since my uh, recording phone with which i am recording is now on a gimbal i can show you things like this in here uh, yes you have the camera itself then you have this glass and this glass a peg glass 
and this was used just for putting give it a bit of elevation first this peg one and then this one i will tell you why because uh, when i was dropping tomatoes and stuffs in here i saw that the opening or the circumference of this glass is rather uh, very narrow so, uh, and it was not letting out the splash very well so so what i needed is a glass with a big uh, opening or a circumference so i chose this one and uh, uh, well i uh, used a ball and a tomato which i basically which i have eaten okay so i am sorry i cannot show you that and i used this particular lens this uh, uh, 15 to 250 telephoto lens because uh, because uh, let me set the camera again on my face um, yeah i used uh, this particular lens so let me open it up uh, i used this this telephoto lens because uh, i used to play with the zoom because uh, i could do with a prime lens 50 millimeter which in on my crop sensor uh, would give me a 85 millimeter of focal length and of course the images that come out of the prime lens they are much sharper but again uh, for that i had to fiddle with the uh, tripod i did not want to have the uh, burden of all these uh, drawings and pullings and all this stuff so i decided to settle with this uh, telephoto lens well uh, then you have this mug and this flask which was not used but they will be used now i will uh, drink some coffee from here and explain it to you nothing like a good coffee then i set the glasses and uh, set up the uh, tripod i made the exposure setup and uh, then i put the camera on the manual focus so that i uh, would not have to fiddle with the focus when shooting and uh, neither because uh, neither my subject or me were going to move then i attached a remote shutter release which will uh, basic which would basically uh, eliminate the chance the minimum chance of shake and which would give me a relaxed position of shooting from distance uh, supervising the total situation as it were it, it was going on uh, well as for the exposure setup uh, it uh, would have been better had i gone with a bigger f-stop number like f eight or f 11 something like that because that would give me a sharper image but i could not afford to uh, go with a higher stop number because the light even we, by placing the subject uh, near the ambient light, uh, light and lighting it up with the table lamp the lighting condition was not uh, better it was uh, the light was scanty so i uh, I stopped with uh, basically a 4 and uh, not a 4 it was a 5 and uh, I could not plunge my shutter speed beneath 1 800 of a second because I really needed to freeze those splashing water so at least I had to uh, uh, shoot with uh, 100 uh, uh, 1 800 of a second and that's why again I had to crank my iso up to 800 which will actually which would actually allow me to uh, shoot me at least uh, then also my histogram will not do a proper i mean a gentle curve it would uh, uh, it, 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 it would obviously uh, uh, go to the left side that means i would have a uh, very dark shadows in my picture but uh, that is manageable because uh, i do not want a properly very balancedly lit uh, situation what i need only to have the highlights and things like that that will that would give me more drama 
okay so with having all these things set up i went for the shoot and i must mention the name of my wife without whose help this total thing would not have been possible uh, she basically helped me by dropping the ball and the tomato time and again into the glass meticulously uh, with precision so that uh, the water splashes out again and again and she kept doing it until and unless i was satisfied well you see how many images i had to shoot just for having at least two or three perfect shots well i will quickly tell you how i managed things in my post okay let me open this up and quickly do the show you the ad adjustments which i did first what i did this image was a bit underexposed and i pulled up the exposure a bit and then pulled up the contrast bar and brightened up the highlights because you can see it is the histogram is completely flat towards the right hand side and i pulled the shadows back back because i do not mind having a great deal of shadows in my picture and i pulled the whites up and again dragged the blacks down and you can see how it uh, has started to look like uh, i mean it, it has already started looking more dramatic and then from this light panel uh, let us come to the color panel punch up the vibration a bit and then let us go to the hue saturation and luminance panel pull up the saturation of the red by if you can see there is a slight uh, greenish tint in the glass that is quite distracting but there was no way i could do with that do away with that because i had to keep the window beside uh, the i mean the left hand side of the glass open just to have the right amount of light uh, closing this would mean a completely uh, dark image so i could not afford to do that anyway and what i did i pulled the saturation of the blue completely down and the luminance down so that uh, you can see you cannot say whether the background was blue it pretty much looks like a black background and then quickly uh, let us come to the lens profile correction and uh, enable it and the chromatic aberrations let's enable and then come to the uh, sharpening part let's first mask this one so that i do not have to sharpen the total image only the white parts which you see will be sharpened and the other parts will uh, be will remain as they were i think this much will do so let us now sharpen this area 95 or 100 will do and radius they will sharpen the edges let us settle with two of it and as it was shot with uh, iso 800 i have to do some noise reduction because if you make this picture bigger if you zoom it you can see the noise and then also the color noise reduction and i think it has almost pretty much done with this i just have to uh, increase the clarity a bit so that it looks punchier i think this much will do one thing i can also do with this is like uh, um, let me 
take a gradient selector let me sorry let me paint with sorry let me take it again let me paint with the brush and this local adjustment will i think bring the exposure of the highlighted area down and give it more professional look well so i think it is almost done you can see this is the before and this is the after before after before and after i think i mean with this basic minimum setup it can qualify as a i mean if not good but a, i mean standard water splash photography that was how i shot these fancy water splash photography with the very minimum very basic elements to which i had near my hand and i think you have at least more than these things or you have at least these things in your house so uh, do not sit still in your house if you like photography go out uh, get up from the chair or the bed and shoot things and uh, be creative in this uh, period of getting locked down in your home if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you feel like saying something please again do not hesitate to write down some comments in below and again if you want to have some more content from this channel consider subscribing there you also have my videos where i go out in the landscapes and take pictures in the wilderness so with that being said bye for now